Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena with me, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. In this episode we're going to be trying some new decks, um, especially this Mono Red Haste deck, which I found on YouTube uh, from a YouTuber called Covert Go Blue. And he put together this um, Haste Mono Red deck, um, which I'm going to give a go and see how it fares up and also i will give you um one some win rate um percentages um from what i've found from my personal gameplay and um, we're going to run through the cards and then we're going to um, have a few matches and see how it uh, goes uh, this is the new uh, dominaria standard um so we're playing standard um which by now everybody knows that I play standard. Um, I don't really particularly like to play any of the other formats. But anyway, we're going to just go through the cards and then we're just going to get on with it and have a few matches. Um, it's a very fast deck this one, so we're going to have quite a few matches. Um, pretty much the over and done with. You either win or you lose. Um, win more than lose, I would have thought. Anyway, we're going to start off with Hammerhand, and it's a uh, one cost. It's an enchantment aura. And what we do is we enchant a creature, and then when Hammerhand enters the battlefield, the target creature can't block. Um, it enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. We've got four Kumano faces Kakazan, and Kumano faces Kakazan deals one damage to each opponent and each planeswalker they control. That's step one. And then step two, when you cast your next creature spell this turn, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. And then uh, for step three, we exile it, then return it to the battlefield transformed, which is Etching of Kumano, um, which has haste. And if a creature dealt damage by a source you controlled would die, uh, we exile it instead. We've got Phoenix Chick, which is one of the new cards. Uh, it's got flying and haste. It can't block though. So whenever you attack with three or more creatures, whoo, you may pay uh, two mountains and if you do return phoenix chick from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attack them with a 1-1 counter on it we've got some burn spells here play with fire and um, it deals two damage to any target if a player is dealt damage this way we get to scry as well so if we're missing a land or whatever we can just um, aim for face and then hopefully um see what the next card is and if it's a land we can keep hold of it or if we need a creature you know we can just do what we need to do with the scry ability and uh, the n next um, new card is a Shivan Devastator. Um, so it's got flying and haste, and it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. So X is um, whatever uh, mana we have available to pour into it. So we can make this, um, you know, as strong as we need it to be, depending on the mana that we've got. We've got some Bloodthirsty Adversaries uh, for two. It's a two drop. Um, it's got haste. And when it enters the battlefield, we may pay two and a uh, mountain any number of times. And when we pay this cost one or more times, we put that many plus one plus one counters on the Bloodthirsty Adversary. Then we can exile up to that many target instant or sorcery cards with mana value three or less from our graveyard. Copy them. And we may cast any number of the copies without paying the mana costs. We've got Lightning Strike. Uh, it's another face damage. We can uh, attack either creatures or the player themselves. Um, it deals three damage to any target. It does what it says on the tin. Um, Rad has Firebrand. It's a human warrior. Whenever it attacks, target creature defend and player controls with power less than Rad has Firebrand's power. Can't block this turn. That's good to go alongside with the Hammer Hand because when we can get rid of two that can't block. Um, and it's also got domain for 5 plus a um, mountain and it gets plus 2 plus 2 until the end of the turn costs 1 less to activate for each basic land type among lands you control activate only once each turn so we can only get this uh, to cast for 5 um, because obviously we've only got um, you know one different mana um, well one unique mana 
cost for this one which is the mountain we've got some four reckless storm seekers beginning of combat on our turn target creature we control gets plus one plus zero and gains haste until the end of the turn and at, on at night um at the beginning of combat on your turn um a creature we control gets plus two plus zero and gains trample and haste until the next turn until the end of the turn sorry uh, we have got a new card in, in Squee, Dubious Monarch. And this gives me um, vibes of Den of the Bugbear. Um, basically, it's got haste. And whenever it attacks, we create a 1-1 one, one Red Goblin creature token that's tapped and attacking. And we may cast Squee uh, from our graveyard by paying 4 mana and exiling 4 other cards from our graveyard rather than paying its mana cost. And that's quite handy as well and also we've got chandra dress to kill and for plus one um, we add a mountain uh, chandra dress to kill deals one damage to up to one target player or planeswalker and, and for another plus one um, we exile the top card of our library if it's red you may may cast it this turn and for minus seven exile the top five cards of your library you may cast red spells from among them this turn you'll get an emblem with whenever you cast a red spell this emblem deals x damage to any target where x is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell also got four thundering raijus it's got haste and whenever it attacks we put a plus one plus one counter on target creature we control then thundering raiju deals x damage to each opponent where x is the number of modified creatures you control other than thundering raiju so if we put um plus one plus one counters on other creatures and um, we then do some damage to the opponent's face and then we've got 21 mountains and we've got two sokenzan crucible of defiance and for the channel cost we can um discard it and create two one one spirit creature tokens and they gain haste until the end of the turn so that's a little bit more extra damage so this is quite a fast deck um it's going to um either do really well or it's going to do really badly um so yeah um I'll hit, the best thing to do is just to show you how it performs so let's get going so here we are, we're probably going to start off with the Kumano um, and then the second turn, Bloodthirsty Adversary and we're just going to go from there, so let's go. We're probably going to spend more time waiting for the opponent to do anything than it is to win the match. So we'll get Kumano faces Kakazan straight out. Right, so we are going to deal damage to this. Attack for everything. No, unless he has a failed wipe, I think we win.
and we'll thunder and ride you and there we go this sack that's the first match one yeah let's keep this one the only problem with this one is that um, Radar's firebrand hasn't got haste so um, we'll see what they cast and then we'll play with fire it saying oops to us but I don't say why Put the token on this one so it deals some damage to its face as well. Hope he gets something really crap. He probably gets the squee, no doubt. Oh, he's saying good game. So that means he's uh, given up, I bet. Yeah. There we go, that's game two. It's almost a platinum rank. Yeah, let's try this setup. Attack for one. Get the adversary next. Attack for three. Can't block. I'm gonna say we really could have done with the land there. Unfortunately, there's nothing we could do there. He is gonna block that. That's unfortunate. But we did need to get rid of it as well. Is he going to get it back out? Yeah, I thought he would. But he has to sacrifice it at the end of his turn. We needed our land, really. Racing. We could do with the land this next turn. Um, get Squee out and we should be alright. We've got a land we win, I think. Surely we've got a land next. Oh no, he's meat hooked. 
get a bit of life back. Well, there's our land that we wanted. Um, yeah, let's go for Squee. Say if he has removal, I think we lose. But we can get him back. Go for it. Keep the pressure on. Could do with the land next turn. There we go. Asking ye shall receive. I think this is it. And there we go. Third match. Yeah, let's just stick with this. As long as we don't flood with land, we should be okay. I think we've got plenty heat to be getting on with. Oh, we're playing up against the same deck. Oh, we are flooding. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Can lightning strike the egg, uh, the resolved? Oh, we are flooding. What a shame that is. Um, Ah, nice. Okay, it looks like we're losing this one. We'll say good game. There's no way we're winning this. Let him have his um, his final hit though. I like that um, little mix up. 
mixed a little bit of mono white in with the our mono red deck so that's something that we uh, should look into um, for upgrading it for a future for future games yeah okay let's keep this one this looks pretty decent oh we'll cancel and what we will do is we'll see what they do see what they do again yeah he's doing exactly the same as before so we'll just get rid of that we'll get squee get rid of that and yeah he gives up he knows he knows the deck and there we go we've ranked up to platinum t4 so overall I have played 14 matches um, that I've won and 11 which I've lost so it's an overall win rate of about 56% um, in 25 matches so um, I'm not sure if that's a good enough sample size but that's um, basically um, what to expect you win in what maybe um, half of the matches just over half of the matches that you play um, maybe you could tweak it a little bit with the um, white some of the white cards um like the brutal cathar and um maybe some others um that intrepid adversary may be a good one to add as well um like w when we were fighting against it earlier on the match that we lost in um maybe that's a good way to improve it but um as far as um we're concerned um we're basically 56% win rate so anyway let's go back to the arena uh, we have actually got a pack that we can open so we're going to open that now and as you can see we've got 84 and a half percent of the cards so far um it's oh well, there we go we've got a rare wild card so yeah we've got quite a, a few bits <laughs> a bit more rare wild cards to make some more decks so thank you very much um, for joining me in this episode of Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, we've been showcasing the mono red um, haste deck which I found on uh, Covert Go Blue's um, YouTube channel. Um, if you have not heard of him before, um, go and check him out. Just type in Covert Go Blue in the search bar of YouTube. Um, he has got way more videos than i will ever hope to have um, and a bigger following than i would ever hope to um, achieve in my lifetime um, but if you have took the time to watch my video thank you very much and um, it means a lot um, and just give me a like and a sub um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and until next time when i will be back with another um, showcase deck um, that's it from me and I will see you guys on the flip side.